Dan. So, um, recently I've been getting asked a lot about alternatives to hormone therapy. So, I personally chose to go with injections just because I feel like that is the most um, effective method. But, you know, some people can't transition using hormones for various reasons. So, hold on, let me just switch this. Okay. So, um, there are ways that if you're going to transition using hormones but can't get on them yet, that you can lower your estrogen levels if you are a trans man. Um, you know, so, firstly, the first thing you could do if you're waiting to get on hormones or you can't go on hormones is talk to your doctor about going on a hormone blocker. So, I'm not really too sure about how that process works. I know that you don't need to get any letters or anything like that. You can just go talk to your family doctor about that and they can do that for you. Um, but also I'm going to talk about some things that you can take, supplements, vitamins, holistic natural things, and just some food type things that you can eat that will um, increase testosterone levels and lower estrogen. So the first thing you should do is lower your fat intake. Um, definitely try to eat your omega-3 fatty acids. They boost testosterone, so that would be like fish, um, you know, tuna, salmon, mackerel, shellfish, um, you know, you could just eat some can of tuna, you know, it, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, um, also there's a lot of omega-3 fatty acids in nuts, so it doesn't have to be that costly to do this, um, also some regular foods that you could eat, um, you should eat some oats, they're proven to boost tea levels, ginseng. So ginseng is in like tea, like you can go buy some iced tea that has ginseng in it, um, hot tea, there's ginseng. Uh, you know, just look on some labels and see, you can just Google it, I don't have exact examples of it. Um, celery, definitely celery, um, you'll hear that from a lot of people, and broccoli both boost testosterone levels. Garlic, so if you don't you should put some garlic powder on something, um, you know, put some garlic in mashed potatoes, I don't know what you like to eat, I like to eat garlic a lot, um, regardless of the testosterone issues, I just like garlic. Um, you could also get some garlic supplements, I know they have those, um, pine nuts, they actually have testosterone in them, so, yeah, I mean, eat some pine nuts, you'll be good, um, so, I have a list of vitamins here. I personally take vitamins, but I don't take them for hormone usage. I mean, it helps, and it's an added bonus. So, um, if you're on hormones, you can still do this stuff, and it will promote your testosterone. If you're not on hormo hormones, and you're just looking to get buffer or get some more malcharistics, um, just, like I said, these are some things you could do, the things I already mentioned. But, um, if you're looking to take some supplements, um, vitamin oil, not vitamin oil, uh, fish oil, uh, I don't even know why I said vitamin oil, but fish oil, um, vitamin B6, zinc, magnesium, milk thistle, dandelion, flaxseed oil, a multivitamin, creatine, creatine is especially for muscle, uh, building promotion, and DHEA, um, before taking any of these supplements, though, I would recommend talking to your doctor about them or, you know, doing research online um, because you just can't take, like, whole bottle and expect, like, all this stuff to happen. It's, um, you know, it's a very strict regimen. There's, I know for fish oil, you're supposed to take one in the morning, one after lunch, and one at night. For the flaxseed, for the dandelion, I know you're supposed to take that twice a day. Um, the creatine is primarily for working out, so like when you work out, I also recommend that you use protein. Um, they have that at GNC. I use protein. You should at least have 25 grams before you work out and 25 grams after you work out. It promotes your muscle building by 70%. Um, and two things that you should avoid 100% are alcohol. Beer especially promotes 
um, estrogen growth, like it will spur that up real quick. So if you're a big drinker and you want to transition naturally, I suggest that you try to stay away from alcohol as much as you can. And um, apparently soy milk, I'm not too sure what studies have to say about that, but I know definitely alcohol. So um, I hope I could help. If you have any more questions, I guess you can just email me. I'll put my email at the bottom of my list, or I'll give you my Tumblr at the bottom of my Tumblr. You can just shoot me a message. All right, guys, so I uh, hope I help. Later.